Hello and welcome to the Pro 2 at Crandon Short. I signed up for the right race this time. You would think step one wouldn't be so difficult for me. But if you didn't see, uh, I did a race in the Pro 4 at this exact track and configuration recently because I did a ton of practice in the Pro 2 and no one signed up for it except for me so I had to wait till later and I saw that uh, people were in the lobby later on and I was like alright sign up real quick it's going off soon and I already did practice so no worries and then I realized oh wait that was the Pro 4 and that drives completely differently so good job me and then I, you know, recorded that and was not exactly that great because I had no practice, believe it or not. I couldn't just go in there and be fine without practice. So here we're in the in the truck I actually did practice for. And we'll see if it goes any better. I, I'd like to think it will. One more lap. But who knows. Uh, and now that was a pretty decent first lap, I think. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have winning speed. Probably not. I don't know why I shifted into third there. Uh, probably not, but uh, I can control this one, I think, a lot better than the Pro 4, for whatever reason. This one just makes more sense to me. So maybe uh, maybe we'll be a little bit more competitive. We'll Carl see. And the number five, which is cool because my uh, dirt road rating is a little inflated because of how many times I ran the Pro 2 lights. It's uh, much higher than it should be. So, to have a lobby where guys are still faster, or still have higher I rating means that, uh, I don't know what it means. I lost my train of thought. The point is, should be good competition today. I somehow ended up P2. Um, probably pretty good laps. But I'm going to have to be consistent. I can't crash. I have a habit of crashing in these <laughs> dirt road races. Um, at least whenever they're not um, the rookie series. I got pretty good at the rookie series. I could go in there and win about half the races I entered in the rookie series. That's the end of the session. That, of course, is because not too many people race those, but... All right, so we got beat out. We got beat out uh, by another person there. Oh, and I, uh, I have the feeling my racecraft on dirt road is going to be sorely lacking. I'll do my best. I'm going to actually try off the start here in the land rush. We'll see how it goes. But you know, if if I if I die trying to go for it here. Then I'll go back to what I usually do, and that's like uh, hesitating on the start a little bit, letting people go ahead. But for now, it's uh, full entertainment mode. I hope you're ready, because we're going to go on the drop of the green. Of course, I might be so bad at uh, getting this thing to launch, it might not matter. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Still lots of new stuff going on with me okay, in this, in this car. Oh, this is crazy. In the middle, three wide. Oh my god, what happened? Middle, I hit my sideways. Right side, two wide. That was weird. Hold your line. Clear that was all. not... That did not go how I expected. There's a lot of tires spinning on that grass. You got a slow car on the right. And I got it off the side. Left side. Clear. Start, mate, but there's plenty of time to make it up. Okay. Good start. <laughs> I, uh, I wish I could practice land starts, land rushes a little bit. Kind of hard to do that, though, whenever that's not really part of the track and practice. I thought about that, and I thought, well, I only got to make it through it one time. Sorry, I landed on the guy. Clear on the left. Car right. Clear. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to land on you there, Tim. I'll make sure that I'm making it clear I'm not trying to be a dirty racer. As uh, messy as I am, I am not trying to be a dirty racer. Yeah, I, just need, I need to remain calm. I need to remember how important it is to be very delicate with the throttle pedal. So it's very, very key. Oh my. Uh, he spun. Interesting. Um, <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm so bad at this. I have race panic still in these races because I'm so new to it. I uh, get in the race and my brain forgets everything that I'm supposed to be doing. I just I need to get more experience. I need to get so much more experience and I'll be a lot better. But for now I'm, uh, I get race brain and I panic and I lose all of my uh, key points to remember. But for now I think uh, I think I might be able to do a decent job of uh, getting back what I lost from my absolutely horrid start. At least I didn't, like, absolutely crash. I went off a little bit, but, you know, I gathered it back for the most part, which is good. Um, approaching is eight. Don't want to hit him. I could gas it up more than that. Oh boy, I gotta get better at racing next to guys. This is uh, this an important experience. Go right. Ah, he just he turned it in front of me. Oh my god, get out of the way. <laughs> well, we just sat there in the track because I couldn't get out of his way. It's polite he would let me go because he completely ruined any chance I had of getting any more spots, but we'll see if he is. Car right. Clear. Car right. Good pass. Clear on the right. Alright, well, maybe we can pull away at least. Delicate, delicate, delicate with the throttle. All right, feels good. I shifted up too early there. Ooh, sixth breath. We're doing good. We're fine. I hate the fact that we have. Oh man, that's weird. Totally got sideways there. I guess I got on it too hard. Um, pretty much lost any chance. Have any further spots? I'm very close to the wall. Okay, that wall gets a lot closer than you expect. Um, lost basically any chance I could, I could have of getting any more spots because of the guy that parked in front of us. But uh, we can pull away. Maybe guys will wreck. Like this? Car stopped ahead. Looks like someone's falling off. That was pretty good. That was good momentum through that corner. Uh, I think the guy that crashed got going again. And uh, didn't get stuck as long as we did. Having to reverse. Okay, Colton. You're reeling. Johnson. The gap is now 5.8 seconds. I mean, we still, we're not even halfway through this thing, so maybe I can reach this 7. Lots of things can happen still in this race. I believe... Yeah, we got a 2x. I actually have 499 safety rating D license. So... Come on, man. Clearly here. Alright then. I think he, pan I mean, he might have just panicked and uh, 
hit the gas and started bumping into me or something. Like been what happened there. That's uh alright, we got top five now, I believe that is. Nice. Definitely feel much faster than they did in the Pro 4. Uh, hurry for practice. I still keep shifting into third there. I like to say in second, because once you start kind of going up the hill there, it bogs down a little bit too much, and I think the second gear is the way to go. You're in You've just done a Seems like oftentimes people, uh, whether it's on Nick's channel or... Um, I got a comment recently saying that they've never even seen, like, uh, these... Uh, these cars here, these trucks on uh, iRacing. And I feel like you see that a lot, which is too bad because uh, you don't get too much participation in these, unfortunately. And they're lots of fun. They're they got a bit of a learning curve once you start out because they're just so different. But uh, I mean, I just really enjoy jumping in these. Like if I've had uh, some rough oval races or something recently, it's like a series that I'm really into. Like that's my main thing. Is a uh, oval, like uh, a great way to just feel a little bit better. Is to jump into like a dirt road race, start going off crazy ramps and sliding around, being wild. Hopefully not too wild, a contained wild if possible. But uh, just have some fun, and uh, it's always a, it's always a good way to enjoy your time. Because even if you're running around and running last, you're going off sick cool ramps and stuff like whoa how could you not have fun with that <laughs> so uh, I always uh, like to encourage people to give it a try even if it's just the rookie ones because those are fun too you still get ramps in the rookie ones and I just recently started doing these because uh, I was able to buy the tracks or start buying the tracks that they go to here and buy these uh, higher license class vehicles so I'm still brand new to these, but I did lots of Pro 2 lights for a while, and it was always good fun. So I like to encourage people to give it a try. So, looks like we might have found our spot here. Unless, of course, like I keep saying, they could wreck. I could wreck. But speed-wise... I don't think we're going to make up ten, uh, 15 seconds on the guy ahead. And it looks like we're pulling away pretty well on the guys behind us. So, I think I was there, but I think we pulled it back. Oh, man. Just got to remember to keep calm. I think we can have a good finish here. Every time I'm, I run one of these, I know I'm going to learn something new. This uh, I'll, I'll know next time to be a little bit ca more careful after the land rush heading into turn one there. I just, uh, I had no speed point of reference, because, I don't know, I guess you could practice that, like drive out that way, but I don't know anything about doing that. So, haven't really had uh, too much time working on, like, the land rush heading into uh, this corner here at light speed. I'm used, I'm used to coming in at this level of speed. So, something to work on there, something to be aware of, to handle a little bit differently. And uh, the land rush itself, I was spinning the tires and stuff like crazy. It was weird driving on the grass like that, I don't know. I guess I probably can't do full throttle. Just a lot of stuff I don't know. And that's uh, just generally this, uh, that's generally dirt road for me in general. Generally in general. Haha, uh -huh. very, very good English. Um, <laughs> but that's what I'm uh, trying to say. So that's, uh, there's just a lot, of, a lot to learn. That's the way it's going to be. So if I can pull off Thank this top Michael. five, I will be very happy. Oh man, I really missed the mark there. Let me pull this back into the correct direction. Two left to go. Two to go. I mean, uh, according to this, I'm doing exactly what's expected of me. That's the five finishing in fifth. If I clean up my start, though, 
and don't get stuck behind another truck for an hour and a half. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little farther up the track than being uh, 15 to 16 seconds back. You know, I mean, I lost so much time doing both of those things. If I clean those up, I feel like I might be pretty far up there. Two laps left. Sector one is 0 .7 of course, I'm not going to give up on Sector these. Two -tenths off the pace. Two -tenths I just, uh, I don't want to go too crazy buying every single one of the tracks and all that uh, right away. That's why uh, there were a couple, a couple weeks off there. Because uh, they went to different tracks, and I just, uh, I've got to be smart about how I'm using my iRacing credits. So, uh, we came back to Crandon, which I did buy. So here we are. And it looks like we're coming to the white flag. Well, not, ooh, sideways. I wonder, I guess the track is probably slicking off, right? I mean, it, uh, it does that normal, like, dirt oval. It, I assume it must be a thing in, uh, in these as well. Just, uh, haven't been thinking about it as much. But, uh, you know, I'll be doing more of these, of course. Oh, good racing. I wish I wouldn't have started so bad this first couple laps, because... Wish I hadn't started so bad, too. But it looks like we might finish pretty well still. I don't know what that guy's Brian, doing. Brian! What the race you, Brian? Pay attention to your relative dog. You are laughing, buddy. Cast up on the left. No reason to be anywhere near my way. Cast up we on did the it. Right. We got our top five. Okay, Taking a 10 car field, but it's still top five. Right. And I was the five. So I'm going to take it. Great job. You did really Hooray. well. Let's give it the park. All right, yeah, ten car field, so we're about halfway in the middle. And uh, we'll watch that. We'll watch the start and how bad I was at it. Pay no attention to my number on the top, please. <laughs> I forgot to change the uh, color. I guess I was keeping up fine, and then I just kind of hit the hill a really weird way. And then I started gassing it up too much. Keaton, you guys in this or are you in that German sex dungeon? That lost me all that time there, so gotta be careful going through the grass. Uh, and then here, I was just coming in with so much more speed than I'm used to, I so I gotta like be careful to. Uh, so I gotta be careful to slow it down more because we are flying in here. So I think uh, what I would need to do is slow it down before this hill, because I mean I'm when I'm in the air, I can't slow down either. So what I need to do is slow down before the hill and uh, make the corner. <laughs> And then I just gingerly came back over because I knew there were people coming, so I didn't want to uh, just cut right in front of them or anything. So for being the guy in last at this point in the race, I'm pretty good with uh, my ability to go from 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th, and back to up to 5th. So we made some passes. I'm sure it's because uh, guys crashed and stuff. <laughs> there was me landing on the 10. So, we got by him there. Alright, let's uh, see the actual incidents, see what comes up for us. This was on the start, the six is uh, way wide. Ooh, the rough side was there, and the seven got into him. These starts are dangerous, man. And me going crazy. Six running into the back of the four. Ooh. Almost hit the uh, pole. I mean, they did, but it, no, they almost hit it square on. Fast guys battling it out. Sure, I could learn a lot watching them. Ooh, they get it together a little bit, though. Here's the nine spinning in front of us. We got past that one. We didn't get so lucky later on. That's bad news for the seven. Oh wow! I, I thought for sure they were going off. Good 
contact. Oh, looks like they're good. The floor goes by. Oh, I guess is it up a little hard, maybe. All I can really ask for is guys do their best to try to get by without contact. Oh, this is the guy stopping in front of us. I mean, I... There's not much I can do. I just I couldn't get around him. He directly parked in front of me. I tried to turn right to get around him and kind of just gassed it up. Or, I don't know. I don't even think he did. Kind of tried to push my way past. Not because I was mad at him or anything like that. I was. I thought maybe I could just push my ass, but it obviously did not work. And I'm like, alright, I'll, uh, we got it going again. We lost about, like, ten seconds or something. But right, we're going again. And everything was fine from there. I think we, did we end up catching this seven? Yeah, we did. We ended up catching and passing them. And that's probably why, right there. They did their own spin around. Plus, I think we were, uh, faster than on, on speed. Uh, some hard landings. Sometimes those show up. That's gonna be wall. Sends them all squirrely. So I'm gonna spin again. Oh my gosh, that's another one. Okay, I remember now. Okay, I did come up on him, and he just kind of turns into me. I don't think it was on purpose, though. These things are just so hard to control. Uh, he just gets on it really hard, kind of like I thought, and it pulls him to the right. Yeah, I gave all the all the room I could realistically give, and then uh, he just probably a lot of panicking trying to get going again and then gassing it up too much, and he just can't get it under control. Finally gets it, but it's after I've uh, started making my getaway. Six is gonna plow into the eight, maybe. Ah, huh? not really how I expected that to go. Looked like he was just gonna send it there for a second. Eight looks like he—they uh, did not appreciate that. They gonna send him now? Well, no, they hit the brakes for him. Very nice racing. It's, it's so easy. To just uh, plow into guys in this. It's so easy to just do that. So, it's good to see racers that aren't gonna just take the easy way out and are gonna race clean. Because that's more fun for everyone involved. Seven is just uh, having real trouble with some of these corners. One's trying to get by as these guys are like in the way. You can't waste any time because I imagine the uh, his pursuer is right there. Yeah. Ooh, ten lands all kinds of wrong. Six spends it. I do think uh, it's getting slicker. That's a fun place to park. <laughs> oh, they just wanted to advertise for Polaris. Very nice, thank you. Oh, eight takes out the three. What's going on here? So I'm thinking the three pushes by the eight because they're a lead lap car. All right, everything seems fine from here. The eight just runs into them. Is there a previous thing that happened already? I don't. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. I think the eight's just being very. Unreasonable. It's the advertisement. 
He just, I don't know what his problem is. I don't know why he's running into lead lap, guys. On the last lap, too. Uh, maybe something happened much earlier in the race. Clearly there was uh, some anger involved. But that's that. Alright. So things go a little bit better when I actually practice and go to the right, the correct race. <laughs> it wasn't fa it wasn't spectacular, but uh, we kept it on the lead lap. We had pretty good, we had pretty pretty good pace. I mean, we qualified third. That's pretty darn good. I think if I can get more consistent and uh, hit those uh, closer to the best times, eliminate those obvious big mistakes that I had. I mean, you shave off like ten seconds from getting stuck behind the guy who parked it and. I don't know, another 10 from my mistake on the at the start, you know, combine the mistake um, on the uh, grass heading off of the land rush and then into the first turn. You combine those for another 10 seconds, like I'm right up in there. I'm fighting for fourth probably, so um, get more consistent, learn from my, uh, from my mistakes here, and I think I can be up there. Maybe not quite with these number one and two quite yet but maybe fighting for podium or something that'd be pretty cool so thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed pretty uh crazy fun racing with these jumpy trucks <laughs> and uh hope you'll uh join me in the future as well as i continue uh trying to get a little bit better at them i will see you next time and i hope you have a good one thanks